this latest version, uh, I set it up to where when you turn the light on, it turns the LED off. So turn the light off, LED's on. That way, you don't always have that LED on. And uh, another thought to it is having so many different channels, each one pulling five volts. If I'm running the LED and the relay, because the relay's got to have power too. If I'm running them both at the same time, that reduces the amount of power that I can use. Not quite sure what my limits are, but I figured out to go ahead and add that into the latest design. So, as you can see, it works pretty well. And it looks nice. Um, and if I was to pull this cover off, you'd, it's a lot cleaner. There's the two um, Romex wires that go to the actual light from the relay. And then there's three wires going from the button board to the relay. So it's super simple, real easy. The hardest part is running the Cat5 down to here. For example, in this bedroom, when I went in the attic and tried to pull the Romex up, I guess it's uh, nailed down somewhere or something because it, it just didn't want to go. So I had to fish, fish down with a clothes hanger, a couple of those put together, and then I had to find it in the wall, pull it through, tape my RJ45 cable to it, and then pull it up through. So it was a hassle, but it worked out in the long run. Pretty nice. And it's fairly responsive. Um, of course, it depends on the web server, because it's constantly checking the web server, too, to see if you up change the light status on there or not. Plus, any time I press it, it updates the website, so that it knows whether it's on or off and also when. Um, right now I've got it set up to where you actually have to have a web server for this to work, but in the future I'll I'll code in, have a separate code where you don't have to have a web server, the Arduino will actually handle the website. So it'll look a lot different, but it'll work the same. So, pretty cool. This is the light switch PCB that I designed. Um, you'll have your input and output um, RJ45 jacks on there. Now, the in, for the single light switches, you know, where there's only one light switch per room, you only need one. Um, you only need the input. But if you have a three-way switch that you're setting up, you would have your in, and then this would go out to the second light switch, and then the second light switch, you'd only need one. Treat it like a normal light switch. That way you can use both buttons to turn that same light on and off. And I also did this board to be able to solder the button directly to it. So that, that cleans it up, and you don't have to solder wires to this, and then you just put a resistor there for the LED. And then it's also got your relay output, ground 5 volt, which on here, as you can see, you got the DC plus, DC minus, and then your channel. So the RCH would go to the CH1 on this relay. So that, you know, that way you only got to run three wires there, plug in your RJ45, plug in your where your light switch wires were, plug those in there, and that's it. So super simple. Um, of course, you'll have pins like these on here, so that way you can easily attach the wires. And it also has an input two, and then an extra five volt and ground uh, jack on there. That way you could add like a motion sensor or something, anything really that does a, um, on off situation so it either puts 5 volt to that or does not so if it puts 5 volt to the N2 then that would trigger it if it doesn't then it would do nothing so it's pretty nice real nice and clean uh, of course just get got me a white plate drill a hole in it put the button in the plate so it would go in the plate and then you would set this 
So let's say that's on the plate. And then you would just look on the back of the button. It's hard to see, but there's a plus and minus on there. Can't really get a good zoom on it. Yeah, there's the plus. So you just make sure that that plus matches up with the uh, plus above the CDN. Oh, I'm sorry. With the plus that goes to the... Um, resistor with the plus that goes to the resistor that way you just plug it in and it doesn't matter for the the CDN whether it's lined up or not I mean that can be reversed it's not a big deal that's just sending um, a 5 volt signal from here to here and it's whether it's connected or not that's how that works but the LED you want to make sure that the plus for the LED matches the plus on the back of the button that way the LED will light up properly which this one's blue just like the other light switches in the house so it's getting there